The new version nine of Tesla software is coming in August, so pretty soon here. Uh, and as Elon stated, with the first full self-driving features. So if you're unfamiliar, we're currently on version eight. I think it's 8.2, uh, maybe 8.1. And and this is the the Model S and X uh, uh, taxonomy. You know, the Model Three has its own kind of different one, but uh, we all think it's generally the sa the same core technology underlying. But with version nine, um, this will be the the biggest upgrade in a couple of years. And um, just wanted to recap like what it can do today versus what it might be able to do. So currently um, the car can do lane keep where as the road turns and you can see it on the graphic here that it, it actually stays in your lane, right? Simple enough. Um, and it will turn for you, uh, it, you know, depending on, on how sharp that is. Uh, people have tested it on like the Clover, you know, freeway on and off ramps and it doesn't, you know, do that, do that well. So uh, things like that, like generally it just keeps you in your lane on a normal road um, on a highway. It also has um, what's known as adaptive cruise control. Uh, other people call this traffic aware cruise control. Um, and so this will, you know, speed up and slow down based on the cars in front of you. Uh, and so that, you know, so that is autopilot essentially, like it, it'll keep you in your lane, it'll speed up and slow down, you know, giving you the sense of like it's practically driving for you. It also has a couple other features that, that are included in this. This is the self parking, where it can do a perpendicular park, uh, or it can do a parallel park. And that's actually a pretty awesome feature. Now, it, it isn't, again, without its faults. Um, I know I've heard stories of people where there's a pothole and it doesn't see it, dips down and like hits the curb, those kind of things. So it's not perfect, but that's also what it can do today. Then you have summon where from your phone um, on the Model S and X, not the three, you can actually um, have it go back and forth in between like a tight parking space, which I can tell you, like I can't wait for this to come on the three because there's a lot of times where, where I would use that. Um, that's like currently what's possible, right? It's like kind of the full gamut of it. Now, what it might be able to do in version nine is basically what is currently advertised. Um, and so in, uh, if, you get, if you go over to the website here where it has the actual autopilot stuff, you can see that uh, what is currently advertised but, but not actually functional uh, is this idea, the first one of actually you know, moving around and through traffic. So it, it's the idea that will basically allow you to like find, you know, your way. So if, if you're navigating somewhere, it will then change lanes and it will kind of, you know, if someone's slow in front of you, it'll go around them and, and all those kind of things. The next one is the on, on ramp to off ramp where it'll actually get you on the freeway and exit you off the freeway. So these are, you know, features that, that it are advertised on the website right here, tesla.com slash autopilot, but don't actually exist. You can't actually, this doesn't happen um, or it's not, not useful. Now, the other one is this auto steer plus this kind of exists where it handles really tight turns and things like that. I, I think it's pretty good, but you know, it could be better. Now the smart summon. So the summon I mentioned before, where you can kind of have the car come out and meet you. It's, it's basically only straight. It's only one directional. You go in and you come out. That's it. Uh, so here's a great example where imagine if you, your garage was around the corner at your house, you could hit a button and it would go turn and then park and then come back out. So currently it, it, it doesn't, doesn't do that, but that would be something that, that I, I think would be, would, you know, we can hope to expect to see, um, in this next version. Now, of course, there's the full self-driving capability and, and this is like, you know, the whole other, the, the basically like full, uh, fully autonomous cars where you, you get in your car, you don't even have to tell it where you're going. It takes you there if it's in your calendar. Uh, it parks and, and all that kind of stuff. Personally, I'm interested in this from a kind of Batmobile standpoint. Uh, if you are, are, are of a certain age, you remember when Michael Keaton was the Batman? And um, he had one of the coolest features ever of his car where he, where he could be off, you know, on a building somewhere, you know, uh, tell his little device, you know, come pick me up. And the car would actually find him and, and, and you know, come directly below him and he would jump right in and those kind of things. So, which might be technically possible in the Roadster. Maybe we'll have to do a little bat suit kind of a, a demonstration someday. But anyways, um, you know, those are future, uh, future things that I don't think we're gonna expect to see any of that stuff yet. So it'll hopefully be able to do everything that is advertised um, on autopilot, uh, or I'm sorry, in the current advertisement of enhanced autopilot. So there you have it. All right.